This stretch of beach at Oak Island in North Carolina is where the attacks happened on Sunday afternoon. Both victims had been swimming in water which was waist deep. First, a 12-year-old girl lost part of her arm and suffered a leg injury. The left arm is completely missing and also a bite to the left leg. Less than an hour and a half later, two miles away on the same stretch of beach, a 16-year-old boy lost his arm. Attacked by a shark. They said the head was about that big, I think the kid said, and uh, estimated six to eight foot. Last Thursday, a 13-year-old boogie boarder was bitten by a shark off a nearby beach. Search teams have been scouring the waters. Officials don't know what type of shark was behind the latest attacks. We can't confirm the size, or and we can't confirm whether it is, was one or two. It's, it's just no way of knowing that. So, how often do shark attacks happen in America? Well, it's common for sharks to be found in the waters off the Atlantic coast. In the last five years, there were more than 600 shark attacks worldwide, nearly half of those in the United States. Six were fatal. These are some of the other places where sharks have attacked. A third of incidents worldwide happen when someone is surfing. Species which commonly attack include the great white, also known as the super predator, the bull shark and the tiger shark. Although the largest number of attacks happen in the US, it's important to keep this in context. You're more likely to be struck by lightning in America than be killed by a shark. The odds of being attacked by one here are one in 11.5 million.